welcome to another tutorial by Brockhitis91. This is a video response to the Butler 2125 and I'm going to show you how to make a iPod um, ad on your computer with Photoshop. So um, the whole thing is that this is something very easy, not that hard to do. Um, but you can create a new layer like the Butler did and it's just this will like help you keep your background safe from getting destroyed so you have that one to go back on so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take out your background the magic erase tool will work perfectly here what you want to do is you want to go to image adjustments and hue and saturation and the lightness you want to take down all the way so you've got that sort of thing and as you can see where the lightsaber was it looks pretty bad so we'll take that out So, you got Darth Vader blocked out. So, all you need to do now is to create your iPod. So, what I like to do is create a new document. What you're going to want to probably do is mm, probably make your background black so you can see what you're doing. But, let's see. What was I doing? Yes, sorry. Alright, paint it black. And then you're going to want to take this tool and you want it to be set on, I think it's this one. And set on that. And just bring it down into the size of your iPod that you like. Alright, so we all know that iPods aren't absolutely square. Alright not being sarcastic or anything but anyway and then you just want to bring it down to like the color of the screen and you just bring it down like that and then you can draw your circle Create a new layer for this one, it'd be best. And just move it around to get it to fit where we want it. That uh, looks about right. And you can go into some more detail if you'd like, but I'm not going to. Well, I think I will. Hold on just one second. And that's good. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna merge all your layers by clicking all of them and holding shift and right clicking and going to merge layers and you're going to want to erase your background like that and you can minimize this oops need that and take it and bring it into your Darth Vader picture and maximize that and do free transform and bring that up and I think I uh, figured out a good place for it right where that one big gadget was on this picture that looks reasonable for a iPod right there and we'll check that off so now we need to make the headsets and we'll zoom in a little bit and we will take our paintbrush and get it to be white and shrink it down a tad like that and give it hardness and bring it up we need to edit 
undo that and bring it behind the iPod so we don't mess up our iPod and just give it the plug in like that so you want to zoom out a little bit and grab your pen tool and bring it right there and bring it up here and bring it to about where his ears would be so now we need to make sure that our paintbrush is on the right settings we probably want it on two and that looks good. So what you're gonna want to do? Wait, two looks a bit. So we'll make it one. And we'll bring our pen tool up again, and we'll right click, and go to stroke path, and not pencil, but brush. And then we will. Got I oh there you go. Alright, and then I did it by the leading path. And you just give you another link right there and hook it up to right there and do a another stroke path, same thing, and hit delete path. Now you want to zoom in and go to where the headphones go into or earbuds and pull out your brush tool and just paint that in and then you want to zoom out uh, I don't like that need to make it a little bit smaller don't want to make it too Outrageously big. Uh, still not the greatest, but we'll make this one. I don't know. We'll make it dark red, because that seems more. Well, no, because. I don't know. We'll make it dark red. That sounds good. But what you do is you go to the background, create another layer between the background and your dark. Darth Vader and grab your paint and paint text tool and put it on white put it on white and make it pretty large suits and this one looks pretty good we'll do uh, let's see that looks pretty good I mean nothing not, not looking for anything too great there you have it your iPod logo. Oh, and you just merge the layers. All of them. Ah. And there you have it. Your iPod logo or iPod ad, whatever you wish. There you go.